Hi, uh, my name is Eric Egrup and uh, I'm from Sweden. I uh, studied industrial design and then I quickly moved over to game art, uh, computer game art, uh, where I later on became art director at uh, Ubisoft Entertainment in Sweden. And uh, now uh, I've been three years in India working for Druva Interactive in Bangalore. I started with industrial design, um, but I really wanted to. I was very interested in in game art and uh, and games in general, and, and I wanted to try it out. So I applied for an for an internship at uh, Massive Entertainment at that time. And their project at that time, World in Conflict, when that got approved for uh, production, I got a job and, and I started working making uh, painting ground textures and, and making a lot of surrounding environments. Uh, then I worked very close to the art director there and became associate art director doing concept art, uh, working a lot with the other artists to improve the art. Uh, and that led, when we later on got bought up by Ubisoft, uh, that led to me uh, getting an art direction position for uh, Far Cry 3 where we made the multiplayer and co-op uh, in Sweden, whereas the single player was made in Montreal. And, uh, I got a job offer in, in Bangalore, India. I thought that would be a, a good move for me in, in, in two ways. Uh, in, uh, in India, I get to, to work on several projects, maybe 10 projects at a time. Um, and uh, I still get to work with the, the best games in the world and the coolest art in the world. Uh, and there I also now is more working as a studio art director and having a couple of art directors under me. Who are? The gaming industry in India, it's uh, still fairly small, but I think it's really growing uh, in two ways. I work mostly with the big uh, so-called AAA projects, the big budget projects being made in, uh, in the US and, and Europe, and uh, we are only working on mostly graphics and, and animation over here. Uh, the industry itself in India, I think, is more focused on the iOS games and the, the handheld games, and that is growing a lot with a lot of small, cool startups. As a market, it, it definitely hasn't reached yet. Uh, it's been hard, but I think it's also it needs to find its own market. We can't really take the, the the same kind of games that are selling in in the rest of the world in marketing media. I think they will find its own way. Uh, iOS and all the handheld uh, have really pushed the market. I think. That's where it is right now. Uh, more and more people are getting a smartphone, uh, are getting the possibility to play games because the uh, PC is not very big. Uh, the the console, the video game consoles are not very big uh, in India. So it needs it needs its own form format. Most people. Um, so I work. I don't know, I work just with art, so I, I can start with art. I think art is, like, a lot of people are getting into it as modelers or even 2D artists. Um, uh, like, either draw 2D art or you model 3D art. 
um, or animation. And from there, uh, the obvious things are like becoming a team lead and, and becoming art director, uh, taking more and more responsibility for art. But you can also go deeper and, and become more of a specialist, uh, finding it, it's still about solution finding and finding ways to make things look like you want it to look like. Um, then you have a big I mean, the game design uh, career is there where it's more about how you play the game and, and uh, what, how you design the, the kind of adventure or the, the, the gameplay of the game uh, where I think the, like, the highest you reach there is creative director and, and really having responsibility for the game. Um, but there are there are a lot of and then programming is the, the third big chunk of, of game industry. Ten years ago, when I started to got into this in Sweden, it was the same thing. You know, it has that sense of uh, okay, you're just playing all the time, or what are you doing? But just like the film industry or. or, or music industry, like industrial design or any of the creative arts, uh, it, is, it is a real job and, and the industry is growing, the demand for for more and more content is, is definitely there. We are at Druva looking for talent all the time. We, we, we need to grow it. Uh, I think India has a huge potential with the kind of people that are here, uh, with a mix of, of technical and, and uh, kind of education um, as well as, as artistic and, and kind of free thinking and, and creative people. So the potential is definitely here. Um, and I, I just hope that it will grow and that we get more and more talent. At that time, I was playing a lot of the Blizzard, like kind of Diablo and, and StarCraft. And, I really love the kind of fantasy sci-fi world at that time, like being a teenager and, and kind of get into these new worlds and, and imagining what what they look like and then I wanted to draw it myself and, and then I realized I want to make this, I don't want to just look at it or, or play it, I want to make it. I think uh, there are a couple of requirements. Uh, obviously, there there are a certain level of, of tool knowledge, um, like uh, being proficient with Maya or Max, uh, 3D modeling, little ZBrush, and, and more and more I see sculpting coming in. I think uh, you have to have a little bit of a artistic mind. Um, you prefer having some kind of uh, fine art background or some um, or, or some kind of skill level in, in art. But I think the, the, the beauty with the games industry is also that some people can be more um, more technical and some people can be a little bit more artistic and uh, and find their way uh, to work with, with game art. So uh, I, I would say it can, it can vary a lot. Too many people are focusing on the the big uh, the big successes like Angry Bird and and uh, you know, Temple Run or something like that. But I think there are a lot of the I would look at uh, games that are getting really high score because that is more telling you about maybe the future and maybe how to get into the industry. Of course, when you make your own game, it's about it might be about financial success, but but it's still a creative. Industry. So to look globally at the industry is a huge industry. It's it's very wide, and and uh, you, I think be prepared to work a little bit. Um, you might have your fi favorite game that you want to work with, but I quite quickly realized that that might not be the most fun game to work with. So be a little open to where you will end up, and and uh, just enjoy the ride and kind of.
might need to work even too hard. Uh, be focused, um, be true to yourself and, and make sure that you always enjoy what you do. I don't think you can uh, work in this industry if you don't have passion for it, if you really want to do it. Uh, so make sure that you have that passion and, and do what it takes to, to keep it alive. Uh, if that means that you need to start your own your own business or get into a really big company, uh, different things fit different people. Um, but as long as you grow as an artist, uh, as long as you keep being good and, and uh, work hard, I think you have a wonderful career. Just one.